St. Patrick's Day. I mean, you can only get so creative with corned beef and cabbage. I do it in the crock pot. I love corned beef and cabbage. It's the one time of year I look forward to that meal. But I always make too much. So I always have corned beef left over. So I want to give you a little like play on something. We've done the Reuben egg rolls where we shred the leftover corned beef and add it with sauerkraut and cheese and we do them in an egg roll and deep fry them or you can do them in your air fryer. You could do corned beef and hash. And I was like, oh, corned beef and hash. But I want to do it a little different. I want to make a corned beef and hash casserole. Casserole dish, corned beef. I'm using Swiss cheddar and American cheese. It was whatever I had in the fridge. I'm going to chop it up to add with our meat. Some fresh herbs, egg, and shredded potatoes. Going to make a quick casserole with our leftovers. Now, in my opinion, this is super easy. I buy the Trader Joe's potatoes. I always have them in the freezer. They have the resealable bag um, for breakfast on the weekends. I make latkes. I use these. But I have the bag. I have a decent amount of corned beef. So we're going to put this right into our bowl. I love this because this is like a one bowl quick like turnaround and it's about being creative. So I'm doing three eggs for, it's like a piece and a half that I have left over. Um, the corned beef is already seasoned, so I am not going to be adding salt right now. Um, the cheese, just going to give it a rough chop. It's gonna melt in there. If you can use whatever cheese you like. With the corned beef, I think that after you trim off the little bit of fat that's in the back, so see this, this is a little bit extra. Just take your knife, guide it down. It's gonna come right off. I like lean corned beef. I really don't want it fatty, fatty. So just trimming that. And now with my hands, I'm just gonna pull it apart and it should shred really nice. Actually, I'm gonna cut it in half because it's kind of long. There we go. And shred shred the pieces small like this. This is all gonna get mixed together, put in the casserole dish and into the oven. Okay, I'm eating a little bit of leftover corn beef that was on the cutting board. Some fresh ground black pepper. I'm not using salt just because the cheese has salt, the corned beef is salty. Now I am gonna mix this all together using my hands just because I wanna turn those potatoes you want to do this if you're using the frozen shredded potatoes while your potatoes are frozen. Do not cook them and then add them because they're going to become like mush. This is really with the egg is going to be your binding agent in your casserole dish. Um, also the cheese, if it's big chunks, just kind of moving my hands through it. So it evenly goes throughout. I think this is going to be a good one. Uh, sprayed nonstick spray in here. Going to layer down my filling. Once it's in the pan, ready to go, I have to wash my hands. I'm putting it on a sheet pan in the oven, 30 minutes at 350 convection. I want to get a nice crust on it, and then we'll let it rest before we serve it. But we just repurposed corned beef in a beautiful way. Um, this is out of the oven. It's been sitting here for a couple minutes, but it's still pretty hot. This is the potato, corned beef and hash casserole. Um, we're going to dig in this together. Holy, this is really freaking hot though. Holy cow. So great. So good. This is out of this world. Out of this world. I'm not kidding. I mean, I know it's very hot right now, but it's so cheesy. And the potatoes, like it's freaking amazing. Like amazing. Holy cow. Like really good.